Multiple myeloma is a disease characterized by excess production of monoclonal protein. One of the Achilles heels in myeloma is therefore blocking the ability of the cancer cell to degrade this excess protein. We have blocked the proteasome, which is one of the garbage disposals, um, and in fact, the myeloma protein accumulates in the cell and it commits suicide. The proteasome inhibitors have revolutionized myeloma treatment. Together with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, we have developed a histone deacetylase 6 inhibitor. In plain English, this blocks another garbage disposal called the agrosome. If you combine proteasome inhibitors to block the proteasome garbage disposal with the histone deacetylase inhibitor to block the agrosome garbage disposal, what we've shown together with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society is we have ability to extend the responses and achieve responses in patients who are resistant to all other therapies. When I first started, patients died in a period of months, and now it's not uncommon for myeloma to be a chronic disease. It's because of understanding the tumor in the microenvironment and the targeted therapies that we have are preclinically tested, show their efficacy in these models against the tumor in the microenvironment, and then are rapidly translated to clinical trials and FDA approval. I've been privileged to be involved in the preclinical studies as well as the clinical trials and the translation of these to approved treatments. This has only been possible because of a team consisting of biotechs and pharmaceuticals, clinical and basic researchers, the NIH and other funders of research high on that list is the Leukemia Lymphoma Society.